So this is gonna be an update on my Tourette's. I haven't done that in a while. Not a not a real video of it. Anyway, shut up. <laughs> okay, so what's changed? I had been on a drug called Clonidine, but that was really bad side effects. I nearly passed out with it. So now I'm on Respiridone, and they've been upping and upping my dose gradually, and it's really helping, like a lot helping. I still have severe tics, um, vocal especially, and I scream, <laughs> like really loud. I saw this girl on on a, in a video about Tourette's and she was screaming like really high, like really aigu, ah! like really high. And I thought, oh my goodness, thank goodness I don't have that. And then all of a sudden I'm screaming really, really loud, like, ah, like really loud as ticks, like, and I'm not controlling it at all. So my, my, my face just voluntarily bursts out with volcanic words. Shut up. Yeah, and movements. I still have really bad movements, but it's less often. So the meds make it so that it's less often, but it still happens a lot. Like it's not a, a lot. It's I guess I went from really severe Tourette's to maybe moderate. I would say. So I still have some spouts or anyways fit attacks where I have like a lot. It's kind of like I'm convulsing almost. Um, it's pretty bad and my stomach gets all twisted and it, it, it hurts my stomach, but other than that, it's not painful. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, but the noises I've been making have been insane. Like, I think last time I did some noise while I was doing a video and I went like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I do that sound w within all kinds of different levels, like sometimes they are low and sometimes they are high, but I can never expect it. So sometimes it's like, <laughs> and sometimes it's <laughs> So I make, and, and I, so that's, hmm, and he. That's my second noise. He, <laughs> So I do that. <laughs> I started saying, doing hey, because I was doing all these ticks while I was walking down the street and it was really embarrassing. So I was telling myself in my head, hey, stop that, hey, stop. So then I started saying the word hey, 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 really stupid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, when I talk about my tics, I actually have some. It, makes it, it triggers tics when I talk about them. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's kind of like monkey noises that I would consider like, <laughs> And uh, sneeze, it sounds kind of like a sneeze. Sometimes people think I'm sneezing, and sometimes people think I'm laughing, because I'm going, hey, 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 hey. So it sounds kind of like I'm laughing. So, giving me kind of weird looks, which I've, I've got to get used to. <laughs> I kind of have, mostly. I just kind of ignore it or say, hey, whatever. Like, sometimes I explain it, but it's not usually. What else? Oh, so, uh, sniffing. That's another noise I make, is sniffing. But usually if I'm doing the sniffing sound, it's accompanied by vocal, by movements, like <laughs> I'm not doing it for, for quite a while, now that I said it. <laughs> Okay, it's done. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Sniffing. Honking. <laughs> okay, other than that, oh, I got onto welfare. Like, in the last video, I was talking about how I was going to be applying for medical welfare. Well, I got it, which was good at the time, because it was really, really severe. Like, if I wanted to do my hair or my makeup or something, I was at the counter in the bathroom, and I couldn't lift my arms because they were twisted around the back and I was busy doing movements. So I couldn't lift it because that was the movement was stuck down here and I was kind of twisting and stuff so my arms wouldn't go up for me to be able to do my hair. Which was really frustrating and I kicked the door and fell on the floor. 
Uh, yeah, so I got mad and, and, and destroyed things, but, well, no, they didn't get destroyed. Just my pride. Yeah. What else? Oh, and uh, I was going to say, explain why, like in the last video, I talked about how I was going to, like, I couldn't be a nurse because of it. And some people didn't understand that, but I want to explain why I can't be a nurse. It's because even with my movements, like, let's say I'm doing something delicate, like putting eye drops in someone's eye or shoving a catheter or a needle or anything that's required contact with a patient, I would have the danger of of making movements and like shoving their eye out or socket or something. So I, I wouldn't want to do anything that's important like that where I'm in contact with them. It, it would be harmful for that and also it would be negligent because if sometimes if I <laughs> if I need to no that distracted me if I need to help someone and I can't because I'm having a big fit like uh, a big fit of ticks I'm twisting around and I can't help them when they need help and it's an emergency then it's pretty bad so now I have to think about what I can do while having this <laughs> so <laughs> yeah I was thinking of a counselor because then I wouldn't have to actually have physical contact with them but then I would still have to um, the, the my client would be pretty freaked out, probably, or weirded out. I, I, I assume, like, I guess I would have to tell them at first that I have Tourette's, and then I sometimes burst out into noises and movements. So, ah, I'm trying to figure that out. It's, it's, I'm looking into the schooling and what it does, and I don't know if I can actually do it, but I'm going to look into it. But for now, I'm on welfare. So, since I can't work at the moment, and, yeah, I think I've updated pretty much everything there is to say about my tics right now. Thinking, thinking. Anyways, if there's anything else, I'll add it in the next video about Tourette's. So, yeah. Take care.